It's been a very tough year for everyone, including uh, uh, musicians in the country due to COVID-19 and lockdown. The year might uh, be almost over, but efforts are underway to reverse the impact of the pandemic on artists. The devastating effects of COVID-19 also impacted negatively on artists with disabilities. Meanwhile, the sixth annual uh, we Can Arts Festival, which is aimed at honoring and recognizing disabled artists, is due to take place during different dates starting on the 2nd of December around the country. For more on the festival, we're joined by its director, Tabani Mazibogo, uh, via Skype. A very good morning to you, Tabani. Thanks for joining us. A very good morning to you, Desiree, and thank you very much for hosting me. Very welcome. Why was there a need for this type of festival to honor artists with special needs? Well, uh, We Can Arts Festival uh, was actually initiated way back in 2015 when we saw a need in the market for artists with disabilities because they were not featured in any way during the celebrated calendar months, be it uh, be with, uh, Youth Month or Heritage Day or any other even event. So we thought, no, it cannot be right. Uh, so we came up with this project called We Can Arts Festival so that we can uh, actually uh, introduce them to, uh, uh, to the arts uh, uh, mainstream, uh, mainstream economy. Tabani, what challenges do such artists face, uh, especially this year uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic? Well, there's been uh, 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 great uh, 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 interventions by our government, whereby especially the Department of Arts and Culture have come up with the, some relief measures uh, to assist the artists during these trying times. But it has been uh, very difficult, even more for the disabled artists, because they could not have access uh, such a relief funding. So when we uh, approached the National Department of Arts and Culture, they were able to assist us to say, look, uh, all other artists are receiving as little as it may be, but the disabled artists are not getting anything. So. They, 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 they take us under, our, 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 under their wing and they took this project as one of their flagship uh, projects. Uh, hence, they are now benefiting as well. Which is awesome. But tell us more uh, of the upcoming events starting on the 2nd of December. What will be happening to honor artists with disabilities? Well, from the 2nd uh, to, uh, of, of December, we are going to be doing a, a, a live uh, a visual uh, concept recording. Because because of COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic, we cannot have lots of people coming to our venues. So on the second of December, at Start Start uh, TV Studios in Migrant in in in, 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 in Joburg, we are going to be having uh, Steve Kegane, Babs Langeli, and lots of other artists like Nomti C, She Squealy, and Bob Nant in the Binos, who are, are going to be recording uh, live their virtual concert, which will be, which will be streamed on various. Uh, social medias and digital platforms and then on the uh, 10th of uh, december we are going in Devon at the joint where uh, we are going to be honoring uh, squealy as well as uh, dj kabila with an award of, because of their contribution on the in the, in the arts uh, uh, industry and then on the 12th of uh, december we are going to the eastern cape where Rastif kekane as well as patrick langin and squealy are going to be mentoring, imparting skills to other uh, young and upcoming disabled artists. Also, on that day, we are going to be having uh, an arts, craft, and SME fair. So, we are having a whole of a lot of pro projects to commemorate the Disability Rights Awareness Month. Quite a lot of artists there, and just recently, Steve Kekana uh, was honored by being given uh, an honorary degree. So, um, recognition is is we're not short of recognition really it's very very important and we are proud as well as as uh, we can as specific because two years back we we're able to honor dr steve Gikani with the recognition award and we commend stance by unisa for uh, giving uh, dr steve Gikani with uh, such an award hence we are also doing our part because we will be also honoring other artists with disabilities with, 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 with awards because of their outstanding work that they are doing. Besides their uh, uh, physical or any other disabilities, they go uh, uh, beyond the odds to achieve their goals. Hence, we are doing the recognition awards on the 10th of, of September. Yeah. 
Now, as people in the music industry, what have you learned from this COVID-19 phase? Are you going to do things differently going forward? Yes, it's a, it's a new normal indeed. One thing that is positive about the COVID-19, especially in the arts and events fraternity, is that we must take uh, the digital platforms and use them to actually uh, reach out, not only doing events provincially, but that can assist us to, 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 to go onto the national platforms because the digital platforms uh, have, have an access throughout the whole the globally. So by using the digital platform, by streaming the our works, it's going to work on our favor going forward. That we are going to take as a positive during this pandemic. Tabani, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us today about this very important event. Thank you very much and thank you very much for having us.